Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back my dreamers. I'm your host Anna and today is going to be a Shein haul. Just wanted to give you a heads up. I do have a plus size try on coming your way. I am a size 26, 28 and hopefully I'll be able to release that sometime next week. I'm just waiting for some better lighting. It's very overcast. So I'm waiting for some good, good, good light. Okay. But it's heading your way. Uh, there is an anniversary sale that's coming up for Shein and it's towards the end of the month. I'll put down the dates down below. So be aware they're going to have like hundreds of items on really low, 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 low prices. And that'll be the best time to go over there and check them out. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into this haul. Um, the first thing I'm going to share with you are these really super cute makeup sponges and they have little foxes on them. Okay. I fell in love when I saw these. Now these are rather interesting, the little foxies, and I'll show you why. Let me see, is there a way to open it? Yes. Okay. First of all, the foxes look like this. It's almost like a leather material. It feels like a leather material here. Then it has a clear holder. So if you need to get into those edges, you can do your face. It's a nice big sponge feels very nice to the hand and I love the fact that it's not spongy over here so you have a little bit more better grip since it has a leather feel and this nice um, clear holder here for your fingers so you can get a lot done very quickly over your face so I thought that that was so stinking cute you know I love me some cute packaging girl you know so there you go I got those now I don't have the prices here in front of me because this is like a mix of orders that have been coming in. So things have been trickling in from different orders. So yeah, sorry, I don't have it. Sorry, but you can look it up. You'll, you'll find them when you say little fox sponges, they should pop up. Okay. Then we're going to go into, let's see, they have these cute little bags. Oh, and if you haven't seen my last two Shein hauls, go check them out. They're super nice. Um, I'll post them up here in the eye in the sky. You click that circle with the eye and then some recommended videos will drop down where the comment section is. But back to these little Gossamer type Halloween bags. I thought these were absolutely gorgeous. I do have some ideas for these besides, you know, sending out goodies. They do come in different colors. I know I got these really cheap. They were in a really low price offer. And um, these are the colors that they come in. Okay. Very pretty. And then they all have the same little design going on. But I love these colors. They're just so pretty. So I got those. So I can put my little things away. Let me put them back inside this bag. Because they're so light. I have my fan on. They'll probably just blow away if I put them down. They're going to blow away. So let's not let that happen. Let's not. Okay. The next item I'm going to share are these really cute earrings. And they are like mushroom shapes. I love everything that's like cottagey, cottage style. I do in anything kawaii. Just, you know, really cute. So I saw these. These are like a wood with a plastic plastic uh theme to it in the in in the middle right here and i thought that they were so pretty now if you look at them one has like that little right here that little piece right there but the other one doesn't so there is a variance if they turn around in the back they look like that but i really wanted i didn't really buy these for me to wear i'm going to use these like on tags and in my books and what have you so yeah, I'm probably going to just take them apart and use them for that because they're so charming and they would look really cute on a tag. All right. The next one is a ring and this one is a size 12. I like to get a variance of rings um, so they can fit my fingers. This is my bigger hand here. So this is a size 12, very beautiful silver and this has like scroll work on it. Very pretty. I know it's kind of hard to see, but it's really pretty. The scroll work on it is really nice. Yeah. 
but I always like to get a, you know, cause I have my good days and bad days. I have edema. So sometimes, you know, I swell it pretty bad. So I like to have a variable of um, sizes. The next one is a size 10 and I thought she was gorgeous. It has like this blue, I want to say almost like a tealy blue color to it. And the band has a lot of um, detail going on with it right here. And I should be able to put it right here. There we go. Really pretty as a statement piece. So that's a size 10. The next set, let me put it over here so I don't repeat myself because, honey, I will. I know what happens. These earrings were super cute. Um, they do have the bumblebee to them. So the, the bees are gold and then they have a lot of detail. Then the heart is copper. And I think the gold and copper combination are absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I think they're absolutely gorgeous, the gold and copper. Let me see if I can bring it up here. Maybe you can see the detail of it with the light not going so crazy. But they're very pretty. Very pretty with that gold and copper bee look to it. So pretty. I love that. Then let's go into something a little bit different. I did get two pairs of these scissors. I already have one pair but um, my scissors disappear. So this is the one I have here at home. And I love that um, beautiful rainbow color to it in detail. They had these on sale at the time I picked them up at a really, really cheap price. So I got two more because they're great for fussy cutting. Um, Cause I, you know, I do a whole bunch of different things, including dollhouse miniatures, junk journaling. I do cards, I do tags. I do a whole bunch of stuff just a lot of different things and I, I need like the smaller scissors to do more detailed work. And those work out so well for that. I highly recommend those because they work out really good. All right, then I did get some of these, um, how do you consider acetate style stickers? And they have leaves. So this is the design of the leaves. Okay, so you get all those designs right there. Okay. And then that's what they look like. Really pretty. I'm going to just take out one or two so you have an idea of when I say acetate. Uh, they're like the plasticky. They're like plastic. See that? They're like plastic. They're really pretty. They look really nice with, with something behind them. See? Yeah. They're really pretty. So it's a variable of trees and um flowers, pine trees, leaves, different type of leaves. It's a really nice combination pack. It's going to be a lot of fun creating with that. I did get some Q-tips from there. They were really, really cheap, uh, under, under a buck for a hundred. So I did pick up some of these for my crafting. Then, um, I did pick up this right here. This is to hold some of my makeup brushes when I have them in my purse, um, this is like a rubber. It's very flexible, but it's a nice way to identify your brushes when you need to reach for a brush very quickly. You could just put them right in there. And it, I love this um, very neutral, very neutral color. Just love it. And these go for a lot of a lot of money in other places. They just cost more. I don't know why, but they do. I'm not sure why. I don't know why. Um, then I did get this mix it up. I did get some perfumes. Okay. Now I can tell you, um, these two, I sprayed them about an hour and a half ago and it is a skin scent on me. It's a skin scent and the skin scent is very nice. I'm planning on making some lotion with these, just getting some unscented lotion, spraying some of the product in it so then I could do like a layering effect and see if it'll last a little longer. This is by Shi Mang and this one is called what is the name of this one? Come on girl. Toffee Toffee Girl. So this one's Toffee Girl. And they pretty much have the same kind of scent, honestly. Um 
It's a light, sweet scent. It's nothing that anybody would smell if they go past you unless they're like right on you and you really pack it on. I didn't pack it on at all. I just did my hand and it's lasted well over an hour on my hand, which is really nice. And I usually, you know, pack it on. This stuff was like four bucks. And this is the bottle. The bottle is beautiful. It has a wooden cap and this is Toffee Girl. Toffee Girl. And this is the packaging. And it has a nice sweet scent. It's a nice sweet a little bit of floral, not too much. It's a combination of a light floral and a sweet light floral scent. I don't get like like a bunch of musk or patchouli, nothing like that. I don't. Um, this is just a nice one that you can wear every day or even to bed. Like I said, I'm going to try to create a layering effect on it. So again, that's Toffee Girl, but it's a very light scent. It's not like something you know, like my Tom Ford sold the Blanc. It's not like that at all. It's not, you're not going to walk past. People are going to smell you. It's not like, um, my Latafa private gold. It's not like that at all. This will last you for hours. You know, this is a more higher end brand. Um, or it's not like, you know, my YK Keith bath and body works. This one even has a better projection. <coughs> Excuse me. And this one is a fine fragrance mist but it has a, a bigger pro projection. This would actually smell really nice in combination with Toffee Girl. Let me see. This would be a nice combo because this has a, like a nice coconut scent to it with an added vanilla. With that sweetness, it should be a nice combo. So we'll see. I just sprayed it. In that same line, they had this one that's called um, Milk Cookie milk cookie and i thought that i was like oh milk cookie i love anything that smells like warm milk very comforting baked good scent um you know there's there's a particular scent that smells just like warm milk and i have it I, I can't figure out what the name of it is right now at the top of my head but it's a higher end brand and it's very comforting when you use it i like to use it during the winter though so this one, again, is milk cookie, all right? And it comes with a wood top. Very light scent. I've had it on, like I said, for an hour, and I can still smell it, but it's a skin scent. I'm going to try to do a layering, with again, with another unscented cream. Pour some in there and see if maybe I can try to layer it up and maybe combo it up with this because of the coconut and vanilla and the Waikiki. Any other vanilla you might have, even if you have, like, Ariana Grande or... um the Billie Eilish. Uh, yeah, those are great vanillas that you can do a combo with and really zap it up. Now the milk cookie. Gotta give it a minute. <clears throat> I know it's like I got something in my throat. My allergies are acting up. I'm sorry, guys. <clears throat> okay, I'm better now. I feel like the song, Let Me Clear My Throat. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, uh, uh. have mercy, baby. I hope you don't mind. Oh, said, so Let Me Clear My Throat. Who knows that one? Let Me Clear My Throat. Now, this one has almost the same exact scent. But it does have a very, 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 very slight milk note to it. Very slight. So slight that after a little while you just don't even smell it. And it goes down to that little sweet flower note. Okay, so there you go. Milk cookie. They're basically almost the same. Milk cookie and toffee girl, they're almost the same. But they did have some different variations. Very light skin set. I am, I'm going to dip my toe to see if I can find something a little bit more aggressive in their line as far as perfumes. Now, I did get one perfume that I just didn't like, and I, did, I didn't like it, and it was very short-lived, and it's the Jean Miss, and this one, uh, it's just saying Jean Miss, but I'll show you what the bottle looks like. I don't, I don't personally like it. I'm going to see if my daughter likes it. It looks like that. And it's just not my jam. Now, Jean Miss 
fragrances are normally pretty good for a, you know, economical scent, just like five bucks, you know, five, you're going to get $5 performance, you know? Uh, but this one had a floral note in here that I just didn't like. It was very pungent, different, not the run of a mill. And I just, it wasn't jiving with me. So I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. I might donate that. I don't know. But let's go ahead and keep going. Now, I did get a, a cute pair of earrings here that had like a dragonfly, dragonfly theme. And let me put them in here. I try to set everything up so you guys can see it nicely. So this one has a, dragon, a dragonfly theme. Really pretty silver. Lots of detail. Yeah, these are really nice. Let me see. See, it has a nice little drop. Lots of play to it, which I enjoy. And let me just go like this. So you can tell it's a very pretty earring. Very pretty. All right. Then we're going to move on to, let's see, I, I did the perfumes. I don't want to repeat myself. I'm going to be showing you the handbag soon, so just... Give me a second. I have some cute strawberry items I want to share. So I got this strawberry hair clip. It is a metal clip. And they had like four different variations. This is very strong. And let's test this out. I have a lot of hair, as you guys can tell. Let's test this out. Let me see if it'll clip. Yep, yeah, see, it's holding my hair. See that? You guys can see it. Can you see it? Yeah. I know I'm looking a little crazy with my hair up here in the top like this. Look, it's a new look, you guys. Do you like my hair? Do you think it looks cute like this? <laughs> yeah, baby. Yeah. No, it's it's you know, it's definitely holding my hair. Definitely holding it. And it's a lot to hold, as you can tell. It's a lot to hold. It passed the test. Booyah! So this one's really pretty, and as you can tell, it does have a pearl note here, another pearl right there, and then it has like the strawberries with the little vine. They had three different variations of this, if you like the strawberry look. Speaking of strawberries, who wants a pair of strawberry earrings? These were gorgeous. <laughs> I had to get them. So this one is a light pink strawberry look to them with the gold top. And then this one is your traditional red, strawberry red color with the gold top. They do have a little swing to them there. And it even has a little detail right there. Both of them have that little detail. It, I just thought that they were adorable. So again, it would be a nice one to have. It's not going to disappear in your hair. You, it'll look cute with your hair up or down because of the shape and the color. And the price was right. And I thought they were darling. And if you can see, it even has the little details on the strawberry. They're not just plain. They look like real little strawberries. They have the cute little detail to them. Oh, I thought that was so cute. Then I did get another hair perfume. Um, this is what you do is I'll demonstrate. I wonder if I can demonstrate with one of my new perfumes because some perfumes you'll be able to do this with and some you won't. So let's, let me demonstrate this for you. That was under a dollar. Look, I'm just tearing my box up. I'm just tearing this box up, honey. Okay, let's see if we can do it. So here we go. Okay, I took the little lid sprayer off. Then what you're going to do is you're going to put this right here. And then you're going to pump it. You're going to pump it like this. I don't know if this is going to do it, but it should. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep. Yep. There's some liquid in there already. I don't know if you can see it. I know I just knocked over my Kiwi. Wait a second. My Waikiki one. Because I want to do this as a let me see if I could do it with my YK. That one's a little bit smaller. Then you can do a combo. 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Here we go. Okay. I don't know. Is this one leaking? 
This one's leaking, you guys. Look at that. Can you see it? It's leaking. Yeah, this one's not going to work. This one's leaking. Yeah, this one's leaking. Now, I've bought five of these, and this is my first one that's leaking. So this one is a dud. That's a dud. I've bought five other ones that were not a dud, so it's okay. That was like 40 cents, something crazy cheap. So it was no big deal. Okay, but you get the gist. You could buy those also from other places, and you could do combos of your fragrances and your higher-end fragrances to get the right scent that you like and you enjoy. Just a heads up. So that's going straight into the trash. Booyah. Bye. You leaking. I'm not going to send you back. You're just, you're just going to disappear. You got to go. Okay. Then I also got this really cute strawberry paper pack. And these are all the papers that you get with it right here. So stinking cute. And I find that their paper packs on Sheen are cheaper than Timu now. Um, they're just a lot cheaper. So heads up. Really cute paper pack with the strawberry theme. And you get six by six. And this is a, let me see if I can move this, 24 pack. So it's 24 sheets because it's 12 times two is 24. So two of each, so it's 24 pack. That was actually, that was a really good deal. Okay, then I got something a little different. Let's talk about these. Well, before that, I got this strap for my Fitbit because I got to set up my Fitbit again. So I got this strap to go with it. Then I got these. Let's talk about these for a minute. So these are the kind that you can get to dress up, say, a sweater, a certain look without having to double up on your clothing, but getting that fancier look. You see that? Now these also would work great if I just cut them in half and use them as curtains in my dollhouse. So I don't know if it's going to end up being in my dollhouse or for what I want it for, but it's probably going to be for my dollhouse. And then I'll just order one for me. Okay. So what you do is you just put them here. Okay. Like so. And then you have like a, another sweater or a blouse or something. And this just hangs out and it just looks very Victorian, very lavish. It gives you that really pretty detail without having to have a whole bunch of layers. And they have different variations of these. So let me show you. That's one of them that I bought. Let me show you the other one. They have lots of different styles. They also have what they call the Dickies that you put underneath different styles without having to do a whole bunch of layers that just pop up through your collar. They also have the collars, which are really big in um, South Korea right now, uh, where they put these really cool looking big collars that are a little bit on the um, old school day kind of look, but it's like a big thing over there right now. Uh, so just heads up, they have those available too if you were trying to find them. I know you can't find them in mainstream stores. They got a machine, honey. Then here's the black. And this has a different look versus this lace. You see the difference? It's longer and it has a different type style to it. I'll show you what it looks like on. Again, you know how to do this. You just slide it on and it will just update your look beautifully. And you can make a higher, you can make a lower. You can have it whichever way that you want to, you know, to give you more of a finished, more fancy look to, you know, whatever blouse that you're wearing, you could do it higher. Okay. It's up to you on how you want to do it, but this is so pretty. I think that's gorgeous. So pretty. Then I did get this one as well, but this one has the lace just like the white one, I believe. Let's see. No, this one's different. Yeah, this one is different. Oh. That's why it's different. I was like, why does that have a pearl? Okay, so this one goes like that. So I think you're supposed to be able just to, yeah, then you pull it through that way. 
So this one's going to have like an open feel to it. And you push the pearl through it. Let me see. Because I have some big old hands, honey. I got some big old hands. Let's see. This is going to be really cute if I can get this to work. Maybe. Oh, I don't know if I like this. Okay, so you can have the open look right here if you want, or you can just do it like this. But it's going to be open on the other side because of the pearl. You see that? I don't know if I like this, but I think this will be really cute for my dollhouse. For like a curtain. Yeah, I think that would be cute for my... Because I, like, I don't like the pearl. You have to... I don't like it. And then this is the last one for that. And I'm going to show you a couple other things, including the purses and some storage that I got. Then this one is called a leg warmer. It's for your legs, but it's very thin. And what girls do and women do, if you have a shorter style, you know, shirt that comes up to here, but it's white, you're trying to get that coverage, but you're trying to get that certain kind of look, you put this on. And even though this is for your leg, this is what the girls use it for. So it looks like that. So then if you have a blouse that stops up to here, but it's white, you have this very pretty look. I know it looks terrible with this one, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. And that will look so pretty. And that's why I got it for, because it's so pretty. That's going to be so cute. Okay. Then I did get these little stickers here. I know these are going to be hard to see unless I open them up. So again, little theme of the same thing with the leaves. Floral. Woo! <gasps> they all just fell. Oh my gosh. Was I supposed to show it to you? And then I didn't. Oh my gosh, they all fell. And you know how thin these things are? Okay. All right. I can feel them falling on my feet. <sighs> okay, I'll pick up the rest later. We're going to be here all day, honey. And I know that's not what you're about. So then I got this sticker right here, which is really pretty. It's called Love Song Christmas. But if you put up the word deer sticker, this will come up. So stinking cute. So stinking cute. Yeah, that's so pretty. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. I'm going to make some really cute tags with this. Yes, or even my happy planner. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Or maybe I'll do a daily for Christmas. I'm not too sure. Okay, then I did get some of these really pretty uh, buttons. Well, they're flat backs, so you can put them on any project, but they have this... Uh, let me see if I can show you. They have different variation of colors. Uh, you see that? And they have like a mermaid theme throughout. And there's different colors. It's not just those. There's more colors. But they're really cute and they're going to be great for projects. And they're flat back. So you, they'll glue down really easy. Then I have these. This is like a lippy, a lippy kit. And she looks like that. They have lots of lots and lots of cosmetics, okay? I mean, a ton of cosmetics. And I always try to read the reviews because that really helps. And I wanted to give this set a go. I'm trying to open it up so we can do swatches. Can we do swatches, please? Okay. I do have some of the cosmetics setting my way. So this came in three different variations. This is the variation that I got. Okay. See those colors. So let's do. It's almost like a bomb. Okay. So let's go like this. This is the first one. And I went over it a couple of times. So that I'm probably not going to per se use because it's a red. But I might mix it with a different color to turn it into a different color. This one is this color, even though it's like in a pink. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. That's more like an orange. They're very moisturizing. They feel very moisturizing. And then this last one right here. Okay. 
there. That one looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this one's really dark as well. There we go. So I think that's like a cross between these two. A combination cross between those two. So those are the colors. They're very saturated. They feel very moisturizing. There's no smell whatsoever, no funky smell or nothing, which is oh, 100 A++++. Now, let's talk about, maybe I shouldn't have done these swatches. <gasps> Was I thinking, OMG, I'm trying to think. Okay, I got to be really careful now. Okay, because I'm going to show you the purses. Okay, then I got these cute little Halloween stickers, and they have a whole bunch of different variations to them. You can see it online. They also have different themes as you could tell different variations so it's not just Halloween as you can tell but it's a whole bunch of different kinds right here and it's a huge stack girl we'd be here all day if I went through that stack you better go online and check it out just go underneath their stationery department or just type in stickers and it'll come up okay so the first person we're going to talk about this absolutely gorgeous. This came in um, three different variations. I got the white one because I wanted the white one that didn't have any wording on it. It has this great um, animal theme to it right here. I don't know if that's like a looks like it. It looks like it might be a bee. Does this move? No, it doesn't move. It doesn't move. But it's like a bee theme. It has like a crocodile look to it all the way across. It's about that big. That's the bottom of it. And then it has this type of closure. I haven't opened this at all. I'm doing everything with you. I haven't looked inside. So you have your inside. Oh, nice zipper. Okay, then you have this little opening here. Right there. And then you have all this space right there. Then you could take this out. And this is your purse with this beautiful chain, but it does have the leather on the top, so it's not going to hurt your shoulder with any weight. Very pretty. Now, if you wanted to make it a shorter strap, you could for those gals that like to do their shorter look. All you got to do is play around with it to make sure you get your chain to go right over your shoulder, per se, like that. Okay, and then you could do a shorter strap if you want a shorter strap. I don't know if that's going to be very plus size friendly. Oh, it is. Look. Okay, girls, I got huge arms. I am size 26, 28, and this fits me. My arms are huge. I mean, huge. <laughs> and this fits. Wow. And that's with the short look versus the long chain look. I love this purse. Okay, let me look. Let me show you the other variation. Plus, it does come with its own dust bag. Unless you put your nose right on it, it does have like a little bit of a smell. Most of the time when you get these kind of purses, they do have a little bit of a smell. And all you have to do is let it air out for a little while and then you're good to go. Um, even with, you know, use, you're good to go. I got my air blowing on me because I'm hot and I got a whole bunch of ha hair getting into my... <laughs> oh my gosh! It's so much. It's just so much. I got so many clothes I have to share with you. I have some right here next to me. But I got to do the try on. Okay, it comes with a dust bag again. This comes in three variations. This one is the black. Now, the black does have wording. Um, and the other colors had wording. It says fabulous there on top. It has the same B look to it. But this one has different type of detail here, which is like a stitching that has fabric. You have your push button opening here. Very pretty. That's what it looks like on the side the top, the bottom, and this is part of the um, hardware. It is very well done. Um, I'm always a little leery about getting cheaper style purses because of the hardware. I'm always afraid it's going to rip, um, but this one I think we're going to be okay with. So again, same storyline here, same exact storyline with the opening here. The opening there and in the middle zipper here that goes very smoothly. You take out your chain, close her up, and you have the same detail here so it won't hurt your shoulder with the 
metal. You can, again, short strap style if you like. And I tried the other one. It's plus size friendly. If you want to do a short strap style, it is plus size friendly, honey. You got this. You got this. So I'm glad I found those. Now, heads up, I do have like four other purses headed my way, and those are a little bit more fun. I got some fur purses. I got some some really bright colors, and I got some like little totes, okay, that are fur totes that I almost fell on the floor when I saw them. I was like, oh my gosh, I need these in my life. When it gets cold outside, I want a purse that pops and blinks. But this is like a great go-to purse um, as well. And it's a pretty good size. It'll hold your phone, your wallet, you know, conveniently, comfortably. Um, it can't be a mommy purse or nothing like that, obviously. But if you're trying to be cute, honey, yes. Yes, yes, and yes, okay? You will see this purse again during my try-on. And remember, it does come with a dust bag. And it does not have a funky smell unless you put your nose right on it. And even that, it just has a very, 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 very slight slight scent to it but it's nothing that you're like oh girl put that in the garage it's nothing like that nothing like that and i'm very pleasantly surprised now the last items are storage containers one of them is here on the floor and i was i have some of my clothes in it they're huge they look like that and they zip up <laughs> i got them for like dirt cheap it was one of their little um, quick get it now sales. So I got three of those. That's the smaller one. And then I got this size. And then I got this size. So I got four all together so I could try to organize my clothes and things in my closet over there. But I do have some other cute holders coming my way as well that were on sale. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. And it was a lot, honey. But it was fun. So I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.